for on this problem, ladies and John, if you guys are looking at this, if we're going to factor, there's two different factoring methods. Um, well, I'm only going to do one factor method. I'm just going to do kind of the guess and check looking at this. But we know that we could factor this as two binomials. All right. Now, we know that the first two terms have to give us 4x squared. So it could either be 2x and 2x, or 4x and x. Right? And now we need to see, all right, well, what two numbers multiply to give us negative 6? Well, we have a couple options with that. Negative 6, we could do negative 6 and 1. Actually, it could be plus or minus 6 and plus or minus 1, right? 1 has to be positive. We know 1 has to be negative 4 to give us a negative 6. Or we could do plus or minus 3 and plus or minus 2. Okay, maybe Adara, that other C would be better for you. So now what we need to do is determine what two values can we put in for there. We can either put positive 3 and negative 1 in for these and figure out. However, if you guys work out by plugging in the numbers for this, does it work for the 2x and the x and the 2x? So I end up, when I plug this in, because what I did is I just said, all right, I know that this times this gives me my first term, and this times this gives me negative 6. However, when multiplying my outer and my inner, when multiplying the outer and the inner terms, I should add up to 5x. And here I get 6x minus 2x, which is negative, which is um, 4x, so I don't get up to 5x. And it doesn't matter which way I do it. I do negative 3, I do positive 1, I switch them around. Either way, I'm not going to get the, to the correct answer. Um, Either. However, when I go over to this problem, I look at this and I see, all right, well, what numbers can I put? I don't want to put a 6 here because what's 4x four, what's four times 6? That's 24. That's going to be way too hard to get to 5, right? So I know that either I can work with a 3 or a 2. And what I see is, well, if I have this positive, if I do positive 2 and negative 3, does that work? Yes, that works. So therefore, now I have 4x minus 3 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. Now, by using my inverse operations, I can say x equals 3 fourths and x equals negative 2. Okay? Um, I don't, I didn't look at 4x and 4x. Uh, yeah, that would be wrong because 4x times 4x would give you 4x squared, or would give you 16x squared. So it'd have to be 4x and x. <laughs> Yeah, I'm